And what about the preparation, Robert? What do you, what did you change? Well, there, there's a few things. There's a few things that we that we uh, added. We didn't, you know, the, the kind of same kind of fight, but uh, you know, like Chino's mentioned before, you know, a little bit more of the distance. There being too, too uh, putting that pressure for so for so long in the first half of the fight, when Trevor maintained the rhythm for twelve rounds. Robert, can I ask a question? I want to ask Chino and then you. You seem to be getting into it more with Floyd. You know, like you're giving Floyd shit more and, and all that. The so question for him is, you know, does, does he think that that's taking some pressure on him where you can kind of deal with Floyd's nonsense? And from your standpoint, are you just doing that to try to sell the fight or get into Floyd's head? Is there a method to what you're doing? Well, uh, the reason I'm doing it is because my, you know, my father do not understand what Floyd's saying, so somebody's got to say something back. Okay, okay. Eso te, 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 te quita un peso de que tú no tienes que preocuparte por, por hablar. Yo digo que tú no entiendes lo que es. Did you ever come close to fighting Floyd back in the day? No, like, never, there was never talk about that. There was never. We were champions at the same time, but there was never really talk about facing each other. Hey, Robert. Oh. I just put one last follow up. When you were the champion, so you obviously had to know him as a fighter, as a, good, a guy in your division. What was your perception of him at the time, and has it changed to what where you see him now as a veteran? He's, 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 he was a great champion then. You know, beating Janelle Hernandez just tells you itself. You know, he was a great champion, and uh, he's just gotten better, better and better every as the years go by.